Rain gardens, they ain't your grandma's flower beds. These gardens are tough, resilient, and designed with a purpose. They're built to take a punch from stormwater runoff, that mix of water and whatever it picks up along the way. This runoff can be quite harmful if not managed properly. Think oil, pesticides, the works. All these pollutants can end up in our waterways causing significant environmental damage. A rain garden acts like a natural sponge. It absorbs and filters this runoff, preventing these contaminants from reaching our rivers and streams. It soaks up this runoff from your roof, driveway, you name it. By doing so, it helps to recharge the groundwater and reduce the burden on stormwater systems. This keeps that nasty stuff out of our rivers and streams, ensuring cleaner water for everyone. Plus, it gives the ground a chance to soak up the water naturally, reducing the risk of flooding and erosion. Rain gardens are also beautiful. They can transform a plain yard into a vibrant, colorful oasis. They attract butterflies and birds, creating a mini ecosystem right in your backyard. They add color and life to your property, making it more appealing and lively, and they're a great way to show you care about the environment. By planting a rain garden, you're contributing to a healthier planet and a more sustainable future. Here's the deal. When rain hits a roof or pavement, it can't soak in. Instead, it picks up speed and anything in its path. This is called runoff. Runoff carries pollutants into our waterways, causing all sorts of problems. Rain gardens slow down and filter this runoff. They act like a natural sponge, soaking up the excess water and letting it slowly seep into the ground. This helps prevent flooding and erosion. It also filters out pollutants, keeping our water clean. Building a rain garden is easier than you think. It's a rewarding project that not only beautifies your yard but also helps manage stormwater runoff. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. First, location, location, location. The right spot is crucial for the success of your rain garden. Find a spot that gets runoff but isn't right next to your foundation. You want a place where water naturally flows but won't cause damage to your home. Second, dig in. Excavate the area to create a shallow depression, about 6 to 12 inches deep. This will allow the water to collect and slowly infiltrate into the ground. Third, amend the soil. Mix in compost and other organic matter to help with drainage and water retention. This step is vital for creating a healthy environment for your plants. Fourth, plant selection. Choose native plants that can handle both wet and dry conditions. Native plants are adapted to your local climate and soil making them more resilient. More on that later. Fifth, mulch it up. Add a layer of mulch to help suppress weeds and retain moisture. Mulch also gives your garden a finished look and helps protect the soil. Sixth, water and watch. Water your rain garden regularly for the first year or two to help the plants establish. Once established, your rain garden will require less maintenance and provide a beautiful, eco-friendly addition to your landscape. Picking the right plants is crucial for a successful rain garden. The plants you choose will determine how well your garden manages water, supports local wildlife, and enhances the beauty of your landscape. Native plants are your best bet. They are adapted to the local environment, which means they require less maintenance and are more resilient to local pests and diseases. They've evolved to handle the local climate and soil conditions. This makes them more likely to thrive without the need for excessive watering or chemical fertilizers. Plus, they attract local wildlife. Birds, butterflies, and bees are naturally drawn to native plants, which provide them with food and habitat. Look for plants that can tolerate both wet and dry periods. Some good choices include those that can handle the fluctuating conditions of a rain garden. Swamp milkweed, with its beautiful pink flowers that attract butterflies. It thrives in wet conditions but can also handle dry spells. Joe Pie Weed, a tall sturdy plant with fluffy pink flower heads that attract pollinators. It's perfect for adding height and texture to your garden. And Blue Flag Iris, which has showy blue flowers that thrive in wet conditions. This plant adds a splash of color and elegance to any rain garden. Avoid invasive species. These plants can take over and crowd out your native beauties. Invasive species can disrupt the balance of your garden and make it harder for native plants to survive. Get your hands dirty. Build a rain garden. Building a rain garden is a win-win. It's good for the environment and adds beauty to your property. It's a dirty job, but trust me, it's rewarding. So get out there, get your hands dirty, and build a rain garden today.